Now with an analyst who did not slash his price target today. With us is Ruben Roy, Stiefel's Managing Director and Applied Technology Analyst. Ruben, thanks. I'll just start with that question. A lot of people lowered estimates uh, on the back of this. Why are you staying put? Well, hi, thanks for having me. Well, we did lower estimates quite materially like the rest of the street. Uh, pretty shocking guidance, as, as you've seen. Uh, my price target was at 28, and uh, we're, we're keeping it there because I think while we're not at a bottom yet, I, I think we're in a bottoming process. Um, while I'm not thinking that there's a lot of downside potentially to the, to the, sh the target price that we've got, 28, uh, we do have a hold rating on Intel shares because we don't see catalysts to the upside uh, in the near term. I think John just mentioned a number of the issues that uh, are coming up, and they're longer-term issues. It's going to take a, lot, a few years for the company to catch back up uh, to parity on a transistor gate length um, perspective. And uh, we also have competitors that are out there winning share, gaining share in very important markets. So I think this, for right now, for us, is a wait-and-see story. You know, we do have to bring up the government's involvement here. Is it helping or hurting Intel's prospects? Well, I think the longer term outcome will be helping because I think Intel does have a, a very large investment cycle ahead and they need some capital offsets to have that uh, investment cycle work itself out. As, as you've seen, I think uh, the cash flow metrics of the company are challenged. They lost, uh, they were negative free cash flow uh, last year. We've got them forecasted for another few billion dollars of negative free cash flow this year. So I think we, we have to see these capital offsets if we're going to get to the levels of manufacturing that Intel does need to get to, both to reach their uh, strategic initiative of getting to five nodes in four years, but also the important foundry services business that had. Uh, and team are trying to build. So I, I think it's a good thing, but again, it's going to take some time. The other thing I'd note is we haven't really heard from the government how the money is exactly going to be doled out. And so that brings into the equation yet another level of uncertainty as we look ahead to the next several quarters. How, simply put, did Wall Street analysts and, most importantly, the management of Intel get the quarter so wrong? They missed on all kinds of estimates. And most, most strikingly, the company even missed its own estimates. So how did that happen, number one? And number two, does it cause a confidence question about the management of Intel? Yeah, it's a great question, Tyler. So I'd go back uh, just a couple of months ago. Intel had been at some investor conferences, and they were trying to forecast and, and highlight that uh, things had deteriorated in the PC markets heading into the end of the year, 2022. And at that time, Intel had said, look, uh, Q1, which they hadn't given official guidance for, uh, but they did uh, tell investors that Q1 was shaping up to be at best seasonal. And seasonal is down mid-single digits typically. Uh, for, for a, a first quarter of the calendar year. What ended up happening is the revenues are going to range from down 18 to 20%. Uh, so quite a bit worse than seasonal. And what happened was that the uh, extent of inventory and the correction of that inventory digestion really uh, had, had gotten out of hand. I think um, it's been mentioned on your program today, Intel uh, was planning on raising prices in Q4 of last year, and they have done so, but Prior to that, it's, it's certainly likely that some of the channel partners were stocking up on chips before those price increases were put into mm -hmm. place. So now all of a sudden you've got demand coming down, you've got uh, inventory in the channel, and there's a big digestion period. So that's where we all got it wrong, and it's going to be a question as to, as to how long it's going to take to see that inventory clear itself out of the channel. Yeah. All right, Ruben, thank you very much. We appreciate your time today and your candor.